Hula hooping is all about control. Learning how to control certain parts of your body in a certain way. For waist hooping, we're going to focus on the lower half of our body, which consists of the waist, the hips, the legs, and the bending of the knees. A common misconception that a lot of beginner hoopers have is that in order for the hoop to stay up and to rotate, you have to move your hips in a circle or move your upper half as well. Both are wrong. The movement of hula hooping is actually forwards and backwards or, if you prefer, side to side. Every time the hoop comes around and hits the front of you and you're in the front of back stance, you're going to push forward. Every time it hits the back, you're going to hit back. If you're in the side to side stance, every time you feel it hit this side, the right or left side, you're going to want to go in that direction. Every time it goes on the other side, you want to go in that direction as well, hit the hoop. Eventually, if you learn how to correctly use your bottom half and your hips, as well as your waist and the movement of your legs, you'll be able to go from a side to side stance to a forward left stance, and from a left stance to a right stance. And if you practice all three of those, you'll even be able to go in a forward walk, a backward walk, so a forward walk and a backward walk, and even go in a circle. What I just did was move my upper half, but that was only for style. Because the common misconception a lot of people have is if you move your upper half, you're going to be able to still keep the hoop up at the waist. And that is wrong. And I'm going to show you why. So right now I'm hula hooping with my arm and I'm using my hand for control. So how is moving this arm or this leg or this hip helping this move? It's not. So why would I move this stuff if I don't have to? Because it's not helping the hip move or the, the hoop move. So why would hula hooping at the waist and moving the upper half help? Now unless you're hula hooping at your chest and that's what your intent was, you're not gonna be able to keep it at your waist. So focus on just moving the lower half of your body. Now that we learned what not to do with hula hooping, let's focus on what we should do. So let's start with standing. Whether you stand forward with your left foot or forward with your right foot or side to side, you're still going to want to stand straight. Not like this, not like this, but straight. Tuck your tailbone in. Otherwise, if you're at a diagonal, the hoop is slowly going to go from the lower half of your back where it's supposed to be and it's slowly going to drop down to your butt and back down. For beginners this is a huge problem, especially if you have a 38 to 42 inch hoop with a weight of 160 psi because when this baby drops it's going to hurt. So stand straight, not like this, but straight. And this is what it looks like if you're hula hooping, it's just going to fall down. So unless you can catch it when it's on your hip and kind of hit it back up to your waist, or you can leg hoop, which doesn't look like this, looks like this, or this, it's going to fall if you're not standing right. So just stand right like this. See, even if you stand straight, you can use barely any movement. So now let's stand with what to do with your legs, where to position your legs. You can stand side to side if you want and eventually work your way up to forward and backwards with your left or your right. Every time the hoop comes around and hits the side of your body, you're going to hit your hip in that direction. Every time it goes to the other side, you're going to hit that hoop in the same direction. So it's kind of a, a little motion like this. With forward and back stance, it's a little bit trickier. So take your left, let's forget about the hoop, and take your left foot and step forward or your right foot and step forward and kind of lunge forward like you're going to do a squat but just lunge forward don't move your upper half if you're having problems with just moving your lower half grab the hoop the top of the hoop and pretend to salsa dance or to just go crazy but just don't move your upper half your upper half is just going to follow where your hips go so take your step and go forward and backwards, forwards and backwards. And quickly, or slowly if you want, quicken the pace. There's another method I like to do, which is the old Sleeping Beauty sewing machine, which old machines like that used to work if you just stepped on it. So take a step, 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 and quicken the pace. What you're doing is every single time your body's going forwards, you're hitting the hoop forwards. 
also, every time the hoop is hitting the front of you, you're hitting forwards and you're pushing the hoop forward. Every time you go backwards, you're hitting the hoop backwards. So every time you feel it hit the front, go front. Every time you feel it hit the back, go back. So now that you've got the stance and you've got the pace, now you want to learn how to do, how to make it start. So you can just do this. So here's what you have to do. If you are hula hooping to the left, so this way, or if you're hula hooping to the right, so this way, if you're hula hooping to the left, have your hands like this. If you're hula hooping to the right, so this way, have your hands like this. The hand that is flat is actually holding this up. Without this hand, this hand has nothing to push. It's just going to drop, and this is what you're going to do. So this is holding the hoop. This hand is going to push it. So hold and push hold and push to the left. If you're going to the right, hold and push, hold and push. So this is what it looks like, just holding and pushing. Holding and pushing. So what you have to do is if you're going to the left, you're hooping to the left, start at the right. If you're hooping to the right, Start at the left. Where to place the hoop when you start? Be in the center of your hula hoop, like so, and put the hula hoop at the small of your back, right here. So when you start, pretend like the bottom half is glued to your back, and it doesn't lift off until you push with this hand. So. It's not going to move until you push with this hand. So start at the right and push. So as you're going to the left, push. Push. And every time you feel it hit the front or this is the side, go that way. Or go, if it hits the side, go that way. Every time it hits the front, push forward. You'll be able to start going in a dramatic motion, but eventually you'll work your way down to just learn how to control your hips and your leg movement. And if you keep this up and you practice both front stances and side stances, you'll be able to walk forwards and backwards and even go in a circle. And that is waist hooping.